Yeah, come on in. Hey, Susan and Carl from the Parish Council, come on in. How y'all doing? Said you want to talk to me about something. Yeah, before we get started, I have I told y'all how similar y'all y'all look to one another. Y'all y'all related? No, Father, we get that all the time. Yeah, yeah, we do all the time, Father, all the time. No, it's just really un uncanny. I can't really put my finger on it right now. Yes, Father, hell no. Nah. So before you arrived here to be our new pastor, the Paris Council, we conducted a need survey of all the parishioners to find out what their needs were. And so we wanted to share with you some of the results of what we found to be some of the most pressing needs of the people in our community. Oh yeah, sure, what y'all what y'all got? Give it to me. So yes, Father Hell no. Nah. So the first one is that many of the parishioners would like to see a return of the children's liturgy. The children's liturgy? What is that? Is that is that the thing they're doing down there, John the 23rd? Where right before the readings begin, they play some sort of strange music and all the children leave their parents and start walking down the middle of the nave and meet Father Bob the sanctuary. And Father Bob plays a little bit hanky banky with them. And then he sends them off with some strange woman down somewhere. And then they come back a few minutes later with some, some sort of artwork they've done. Some sort of pride flags and some sort of Kool-Aid and some, some, some condoms blew up his blooms. And is that, is that what we call in the church liturgy? Yeah, Father, that's pretty much it. The church's liturgy all summed up right there. <laughs> oh, no. Not under Father Hellnaw's watch. Yeah, so, the thing is, Father Hellnaw, before your predecessor arrived, Monsignor Morris... The Paris of Jesus Christ says to no more church here. We always had a children's liturgy since the 70s. And so many parishioners would just like to see it return because they liked it. And they thought it was a big reason that families came here and that families stayed here. Well, Susan, if, if the children's liturgy was so good for the parish and all the families loved it, then why did my predecessor put a cessation to it? Well, <laughs> I cannot say exactly the words why, because you know how colorful my senior Morris's language was, but uh, Bill here, Father Hell not that's wonderful, very wonderful impression on my senior Bill. Can you, can you tell Father Hell not exactly what on my senior said was the reason why we cannot have a true liturgy here anymore? No, Carl, come on. Let's see this impression of my predecessor, the Monsignor. God rest his soul. <laughs> okay, Father, hell no. You asked for it. So, eight years ago, we had a meeting just like this. Because we needed a new coordinator for the children's liturgy. Because the other one moved away. And so, we're in this meeting. We tell Monsignor Morris about why we need a new coordinator. And so, he's just sitting there, you know, just quiet like this. And then... All of a sudden, he says, Fuck that, fuck that, fuck that, fuck that. We don't need no more children's liturgy. That children's liturgy is some bullshit treated by Vatican II by some hippies and some boy lovers oh, who no. never fought in the war. If they had fought in the war, they would know that you don't separate children from their families. You don't separate them oh, over my dead body. We will never have a children's liturgy. And Jesus Christ said, see no more truth ever again. Until Jesus Christ himself comes down off that cross and smacks me across my pale white face. Well, Susan Carl, we don't have to <laughs> communicate it in those terms, but everything that my senior said was true. And, and, and Carl, you, you need to stay after for confession, because I just think you enjoyed that a little bit too much. We need, we need to talk about that, but... But let's get this word out to the prisoners and those in the rest of the parties that we will not be having a children's liturgy here at Jesus Christ said in no more church in Fort Myers, Florida. Why? Because we believe here what the church teaches, that parents are the primary educators of their children. And the most primary thing that a parent can teach their child is how to pray. And the best way to teach them how to pray is how to pray the Mass. Why? Because the Mass, the liturgy of the Mass, is our highest form of prayer. If a parent doesn't teach his child 
how to pray to Mass. He hasn't taught him how to pray well. So that's why we will not be having children's liturgy here. But also while we're at it, this messaging, you know, to the parishioners and interested parties, let us also instruct parents that they need to stop distracting their children while their children should be learning how to pray. No more and no longer do I want to see parents feeding their children during the Mass. All these cereals, all these Fruit Loops and Corn Flakes and Captain Crunches and Reese Cups. And, and I'm tired just walking around the church and just picking up these snacks after the Mass. How are children supposed to learn how to pray and learn that the Word of God is their food if we're busy stuffing other food in their mouth? So that needs to cease. Also, parents need to stop bringing games to Mass. No more coloring books, no more crayons, no more bowl games. The other day I saw the Johnsons. I was giving a homily and the Johnsons' children was over there shooting dice. Shooting dice during the Mass. Yeah, one of the Johnson children started throwing money on the dice during the homily. Now, I was minding to just stop the homily and go down there and start beating them children with my belts. I said, you know, Father, hell no, calm down. Last time you did that, last time you beat a child during the Mass, the bishop got mad and he got canceled for five months. So I said, you know what? I'm going to do it next time. Next time I see them Johnson children playing dice during the Mass, we're going to beat their ass. No, no, they don't know. No, they don't know for the hell no you're here. They're going to learn today, though. Y'all got anything else from the parish council that we need to talk about today? Sure. <laughs> yeah, so, for the hell no. Um, so, a lot of the parishioners are a little bit upset that you're not allowing um, any new girls in the parish to be altar servers. Is that right? 